Hi, I'm Abby Stouffer. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager for doTERRA Europe. And today I am joined by Dr. Fernando Guerra and Dr. Alessandra Nisha. Hello. 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 Uh, both are members of our Scientific Medical Education Committee. And we are really excited to be here today because we are gonna be talking about the microbiome and two supporting doTERRA products, PB Restore and PB Assist Plus. So Alexandra, we hear a lot, and especially recently, around the microbiome, but can you help explain to me and to us what that means, what it is? In order to understand the microbiome, imagine the microbiome as a big, bustling city with a lot of tiny little citizens called microbes, viruses, fungi, and they live there together in communities and balance and harmony. And they have different challenges and they have different jobs there to do. And they live all over us. So we have them in our gut, for example. We have them all over our skin. We have them in the female reproductive system and we have them also in our lungs. And they have different challenges there. But the most important thing, what they are do is protecting us. And if they live in harmony, then we have a healthy microbiome. And if they're getting out of balance, then um, some of them could harm us. And how does the microbiome interact with our bodies? The microbiome is interacting all the time with our bodies. For example, it, um, it's communicating all the time with our immune system. And this is so important because over 70% of our immune system is in our gut. And there we also have a really big city, so a really big uh, microbiome. And this communication is so important for the overall health, um, for a healthy immune system. It's also um, supporting supporting uh, our um, metabolism. It's also supporting um, our sleep system. Um, it, it, it's helping us um, having a good mood or a good behavior. Um, and it depends where the microbiome is. So for example, the microbiome in the gut is more there also for digesting food or um, there for absorbing nutrients and the microbiome on our skin is more uh, for protecting um, us from strangers from outside because our skin is a is a natural barrier is our biggest organ we have uh, protecting us from all the pathogens outside and a healthy microbiome on our skin leads to a healthy skin and also to a healthy barrier and yeah and that's so on depending on where our microbiome is this overall health is the most important thing what we have in the communication with our microbiome and our bodies. So it sounds like they've got a pretty important job to play. They have, yeah. <laughs> so Fernando, can you can you talk us through some uh, lifestyle habits mm -hmm. that would support a healthy microbiome or potentially negatively impact our microbiome? So the importance of our microbiome is the variety. Okay. The variety of species, like Alexander said, we have lots of species yeah. that live there uh, in communion, do our the jobs for the the our body, help us to produce certain uh, vitamins and other other uh, substances that are important for us. And uh, one of the most important um, factors that can uh, help that microbiome is diet. Have a healthy diet. Okay. Another is movement, activity, sport. It gives. There's a lot of uh, studies that says that if you do more exercise, you increase the the number of more species uh, that live in your gut. They're more healthy. So if the, those communities are more healthy, we are more healthy. So for country, every if you do exercise. If you have a heavy a toxic load exposed mm -hmm. to the bad things that we are exposed every day, yeah. sometimes we don't feel it immediately, but on the long way we will feel it. That's really interesting because as the topic of microbiome has become more popular, I think we've all heard that having that variety of plants and food in your mm -hmm. diet, but interesting that those extra lifestyle habits like 
exercise, reducing your toxic load also has has a big impact on just the health. Just follow well. the health chart that we have in the terror. Yeah, sounds like it. Yeah. Alexandra, what happens when we don't have a healthy microbiome? Yeah, so when they the little citizens get in trouble because they uh, they have war or they have disharmony there, getting out of balance, mm -hmm. then uh, this could cause an unhealthy um, microbiome. And this can lead different issues. If we talk about our gut, then we could have um, problems um, within our uh, digestion. So we this can lead um, symptoms like um, diarrhea, or a constipation, or bloating, or IBS, or IBD. Um, if we have uh, problems with our microbiome on our skin, then this can lead to different uh, infections. This can lead to issues like uh, acne and uh, psoriasis. So it's, it's so important. We, we can't give um, every fault to our microbiome, but if our microbiome is not in balance, uh, we have issues we, we, and we don't connect this to our microbiome. So we see maybe only on our skin something, but the problem is not the skin, it is the microbiome. Um, with the gut, it's easier because we know that we have a microbiome in our gut and when we have a problem with our digestion, so we think about that it could be the, the microbiome. But um, I think um, it's important to have a closer look uh, on our microbiome because of this um, big challenges and this big jobs, what they have to do. And if we are protecting it and helping the citizens to have more harmony in their community, then this is the best um, for us. Another thing important is also that community, that huge city that lives in all of our body. If there's imbalance, for instance, if you have any condition, if you need to take a certain type of medicine in that particular time, that can unbalance that. So yeah. there's a lot of guidelines that says when you prescribe, as doctor, we prescribe a certain type of medicine, you should provide probiotics because that medicine can alter that community and at the long run will make another type of, of issues. Don't forget one thing. There's a lot of risk factor for some conditions that are related with the, uh, uh, the microbiome. Uh, for instance, if there's a cesarean or a normal um, delivery, mm -hmm. if you're breastfeeding your child or not. So those risks, those um, positions since the baby time will just give you all the support or not, have more risk or not to acquire some conditions. So it's important the microbiome because uh, when we born we don't have that much we are not so much colonized but with time we'll be colonized and that will help us in our gut in our in our respiratory system in our mouth in all of our organs that are exposed to the exterior and they are exposed to every time every type of of microbiome that of microbes that are in our environment and can be good or bad for us. And if we talk about a healthy um, microbiome and we talk about all the benefits like uh, um, having a good behavior or having a good sleep, then it's totally logical that if we have an unhealthy microbiome that um, the opposite can happen. So it can lead to um, a restless night, it can lead to a bad mood, it can also lead to uh, things like uh, anx anxiety or depression. You mentioned so nice a wellness chart, what are inside our wellness chart can um, can topple um, if we have an unbalanced microbiome. Yeah, and if you see um, every day all the papers that are coming out all the time, yeah. uh, they show the importance of the microbiome and the importance of taking probiotics. And the thing is, is the type of probiotics and the quality. That's what we are here to, mm -hmm. to talk about because not everything is, is the best. Not only the best species are good for us. I think the topic of microbiome is fascinating yeah, is. and there's a reason why it's become such a big topic that we've seen so many studies come through. Yeah. We've seen so much information come through and hearing you, Alexander, talk about it as this community that lives on your skin and in your body and all of these different citizens that are at play and the different effects that it can it can show if, if you do have that 
imbalance and unhealthy microbiome in your body. So, Fernando, could you could you tell us what makes our PB Restore product so unique? This product is so unique because of the mechanism of delivery. We have uh, on this product the prebiotics, the probiotics, and the postbiotics. The prebiotics helps the probiotics to live. They're likely their food. And the postbiotics are some elements that are produced by the probiotics to help the body. That capsule has a double layer. When you take it, it will be delivered on the gut on the precise time. Because when you take your pill, it will go to the stomach. The stomach is very acid and mostly destroys everything. And that double layer capsule gives a protection to that capsule, to those bacteria that we want to repopulate to help the microbiome will be delivered on the right place in the right conditions in the right number because sometimes we just see capsules with probiotic selling everywhere with a really big amount of uh, of seafood which is the number of colonies and uh, at the end at delivery time there's not that much like like we have we certify that the number of bacteria that are good for our microbiome are delivered on the number that we presented. And that's able to be achieved because of that. Yeah, that, that technology, yeah. the delivery system is really key. Because you cannot, if you don't have this type of system, it's difficult for you to deliver the amount that you need. That makes sense. Yeah. So, Fernando, can you help explain to me uh, the differences between PB Assist Plus and PB Restore? Of course. So, PB Assist Plus is uh, a powder, a sachet with a powder, mm -hmm. and each grain is microencapsulated. So, it's the system, the delivery on the right spot. So, this uh, product has strains that are used for our gut, for our gut microbiome. And the baby restore is, like I said, a double layer capsule that also be uh, placed and open on the right spot uh, on the gut. The difference in terms of strains is that, uh, like I said, baby assist plus is more for the gut, mm -hmm. but baby restore is can use it all abroad of species, not only for the gut, but also for the skin, for respiratory tract, and the genital urinary tract. So it gives you a full amount of species that can help your microbiome. And am I right in saying that PB Restore has 28 strains mm -hmm. and PB Assist Plus has 13? Correct. And they're both, they're both different, yeah, so they different. offer those yeah. different strains. So if I take both, mm -hmm. I would receive that, that variety yeah. that we need to yeah. support our healthy yeah. microbiome and give us that great community um, that you've both explain so well mm -hmm. as well. So Alexandra, what are the benefits of being able to use both of these products together? So yes, you can uh, you can choose um, the product what you would like to have depending on uh, your um, on your habits or also on your issues. So um, the combination is is interesting because if we would like to support our microbiome in a different way so if we would like to support not only the microbiome in our gut but also uh, in our lungs in our skin or at our skin and in other places in our body then the combination uh, could be um, a really great support um, but if we say okay i would only uh, i would only like to take the um the PB assist because I would like to support my gut in a daily basis, but I have um, no problems with my lifestyle and mm -hmm. with my habits, then I think the PB assist um, could be enough. But sometimes we have challenges in our life and we can feel that. And maybe now the people know that if they have issues like a restless sleep or problems with their mood or also a stressy life or um, a problem with uh, digestion, um, then they know, okay, maybe now now in my li life, I, ha I need a little bit more support or maybe I need a support overall health. And um, for that, uh, I think a combination is a, is a really a great opportunity for the people to supporting the microbiome uh, in such a different way and in such a full of, uh, full of variety. 
away. Absolutely. And Fernando, how would you recommend using the two products? It's really easy. <clears throat> it's a capsule. The BB Restore is a capsule that you can use it. Uh, I recommend take it at lunch, for instance, okay. because it will take time when you take the pill, goes to the stomach and then to the gut to open. So it takes time. Why don't take it at dinner? Because you're going to take your dinner, then after a couple hours, you're going to sleep. So when you go to sleep, the velocity of the movement of your gut will be slower. So it will not deliver the amount that we need. So the product will not function as we want it. So it's better to take in the early hour. The PB Assist Plus, you can take with all the family. In a smoothie yeah. with some fruits, uh, of course, we need to take it with uh, um, uh, temperature, environment temperature or mm -hmm. cold temperature because we are dealing with living microorganisms, so you don't want to kill it. So <laughs> it will be a waste and uh, that, that's important. So don't yeah. add it to any any hot drinks. Please don't. Anything like that. Okay, noted, noted. But you mentioned that that's family friendly yeah. as well, which I think is great and it's something that we can take directly from the sachet. Yeah, you can take so directly. It's really easy. You can put it in a smoothie. Yeah. Um, uh, what I recommend on the beginning, because you are taking a, a lot of uh, a, a great amount of, of bacteria for your gut. Yeah. You can start with a, a half sachet at the first days, and then you can go with the full sachet. So after four years old, the PB Assist Plus, you can easily, or even younger. There's no big issue okay. uh, if you mix it with a. Uh, the the baby food will not will be great. It will help a lot the gut because I deal with kids every day. I work with kids every day, and uh, the gut issues is a great issue for the parents. The bloating, the the, the sometimes the we don't know why they are crying. And sometimes they are the gut. They are pain because their microbiome are still on growing. They are building the city there. Yeah. So like we have a city with buildings, uh, yeah, it's problematic in that time. There's still in construction. Yeah, yeah. so <laughs> it's important to just uh, give them this product. That's great. It's great. And one thing I wanted to mention as well is as, we, as we've had this discussion, we've spoken a lot about probiotics throughout this. And I think one thing that's important to know is that in Europe, um, and as part of our, um, what you'll see on the packaging for PB Restore and PB Assist is not probiotics. Mm -hmm. We say live bacterial cultures, mm -hmm. it means the same thing. Um, it's just slightly different for Europe as it is in, mm -hmm. in other countries as well. But thank you both very much for your thank time you today. So it's been great chatting with you. Thank you.